Mr. Idris, um, you have a proposal on the table to merge Cellcom with DG. Uh, this That's is right. the second time you're trying to do so. Uh, the first time was in 2019. Have you heard anything from regulators? What's the latest? Well, we've made submission. First of all, uh, Christine, this is a different version from the 2019. This only involves the Malaysian operations. Uh, we've made submission in July. And uh, since then, we had had several meetings where the regulator, the MCMC, has requested for additional information and clarification on the submission that we've made. Um, so the engagement with the MCMC is ongoing. So just to be clear, this merger is only in Malaysia and it will not affect your operations outside of Malaysia, other telco operations outside of Malaysia. That is correct. Uh, this merger would simply make you, if this merger does take place, it would make you the top player in Malaysia's highly competitive telecom sector. We know the government really wants to roll out 5G network in the country very quickly. To what extent will this, this merger give you the scale that you need, the financial might that you need to really um, scale out and put out that really costly 5G infrastructure? Well, um, two aspects to the question. First of all, Yes, as I've said in the earlier interview, the idea here is to uh, create the scale in the business that's very much needed. We have long advocated industry consolidation in all the markets we operate. And, and this is the, well, if you like, uh, the Malaysian version. And uh, with the combined businesses, we, will, we believe that this will future-proof the business uh, four or five years down the road. Now, secondly, on the 5G network, the government has announced the creation of a company called Digital National Brahat, which is meant to undertake the rollout of the 5G network. And now, of course, uh, we are waiting uh, whether the new government will continue with that aspiration uh, in, in weeks and months to come. And what's your sense of whether the new government will actually go ahead with that? Uh, um, right now, we don't have any um, new, uh, we have no new information, as it were, because uh, as you rightly pointed out, the government, uh, the ministers will only be sworn in this morning, uh, but we are constantly engaging with the ministry and the regulator uh, to ensure that uh, we're on track. Yeah. Mr. Idris, can you talk to us about the kind of heavy up from 5G infrastructure investment that you could be putting in to roll out uh, the next generation? How much could this weigh on your earnings in the future? Well, um, as I've said, if the government uh, plans to roll out that single wholesale network uh, under Digital National Brahat goes, uh, happens, um, we will not have to have to worry about KPEX on 5G network, which is, in a sense, good news. But that depends on the commercial arrangements uh, between ourselves and the uh, single wholesale network provider, the commercial arrangements, because that's not been finalised yet. Um, discussions are ongoing. So I can't really comment on how that will impact our earnings uh, in years to come.